Fasciel. First place, congratulations, Todd. Next class, pre-1975 Dodge. We're celebrating a Dodge anniversary this year, and we have a special Dodge class. Third place, 1971 Dodge Challenger Convertible. Plum Crazy Purple, owned by Mark Shaw, Rocky Mountain, North Carolina. 383 Magnum Convertible with rally wheels, hood pins, and a white interior. Congratulations, Mark. Second place, 1959 Dodge Custom Royal Lancer Convertible. Owned by Naif Makal Jr. from Suffield, Connecticut. 59 Dodge Custom Royal Lancer. What a beautiful convertible, black and yellow interior. And first place, ladies and gentlemen, in the pre-1975 Dodge class, here's a 1956 Dodge Custom Royal Lancer convertible from the collection of Clyde Horse, Lancaster, Pennsylvania. Congratulations, thank you Clyde, beautiful car. Continental, pre-1973 is our next class, and third place is selected by our judges in 1948 Lincoln Continental, Hank Antonio Loy from Honesville, Pennsylvania. A 48 Lincoln Continental, Henry Edsel Ford's favorite car, 12-cylinder motor, only two body styles. Don't forget the wife. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, ma'am. Congratulations, Hank. Second place in the pre-1973 Continental class is fabulous 56 Continental Mark II. I'm sorry, with that. Nick Mako Jr. from Suffolk, Connecticut is the winner. A Continental Mark II, most expensive car in the domestic market when it came out over $10,000. The Museum of Modern Art selected the Lincoln Mark II as one of the 10 most beautiful cars built in America. And first place, ladies and gentlemen, a 1940 Lincoln Zephyr Continental Cabriolet, Don and Kathy Loggy from Northville, New York. 1940, very, very early, the first year that Continentals were sold to the public. It's hard. I believe there were only four or five hundred manufactured. Edsel Ford's favorite car, the Continental, with a V12 motor. And here is your first place winner. Congratulations, Don and Kathy Lockheed from Northville, New York. What a beauty. An American classic. and Pontiac GTOs. What a lineup of GTO Pontiacs we had, one of America's first muscle cars. Here's our third place winner, a 1970 Pontiac GTO Judge. Here comes the Judge, Kevin Bartoli from Bay Shore, New York. And listen to that power, the GTO, complete with the Enduro front bumpers, Got a hood tack, rally wheels, eyebrow stripes over the wheel openings, a red interior, and a big rear deck wing. Kevin Bartoli from Bayshore, New York. Second place in the GTO class, ladies and gentlemen. There's another 1970 Pontiac GTO Judge, a convertible. One of the rare convertibles. Here comes the Judge. Second place, Ray D. Crescenzo from Clifton Park, New York. Congratulations, Ray. Rare color combination on that, Judge. And first place in the Pontiac GTO class 1964 to 74, 69 Pontiac GTO Judge. Robert Dunbar, Rehoboth Beach, Delaware. Redline tires, 
rally wheels, foot packs, and all the power in the world in that beautiful judge. Congratulations, first place. Air cooled VW is our next class. We had a class celebrating the air cooled VWs. Third place, as selected by our judges, a 1979 Volkswagen Microbus. Jeffrey Hicken from Pike Town, New Jersey. Microbus. What a cult vehicle that is. And it's just like new. Second place in the air-cooled VW class, a 1957 Volkswagen Beetle, owned by Thomas Borden from East Lansing, Michigan. A California black plate stepped the Beetle. Millions and millions were built, and it's hard to find a good one today, and there is a black beauty, a VW Beetle. First place in the air cool class in 1957 Volkswagen Carmen Ghia. That special model, the Carmen Ghia, owned by Christopher Turner, New Canaan, Connecticut. Congratulations, Christopher. First place in the VW class, a rare Carmen Ghia. Now, I have a lift. Where is Jim? He's down the road. Okay, we have fire trucks next. I don't believe the fire trucks are coming up. Then we'll go on to our full classic class. Full American and foreign 